Hello, hello, hello there everyone. Alex here with Luxat Games, here for the second portion of our Mono Green Lands League. Let's go ahead and play our next match. So we're currently 2-1 in the league, for those of you that may have missed our first video. It's a Mono Green deck that also features Chalice of the Void and Corn the Great Creator. Elvish Spirit Guide to help accelerate us, and the uh, Classic Lands combo of Dark Depths, Thespian Stage. We also feature a small Living Wish package to help answer some things we may face in the main deck, as well as uh, Dark Depths and Thespian Stage, again in the board, uh, effectively giving us um, seven copies of each one as we need it. So all we need is an opponent now. Hoping for some good hands and to finish this league uh, profitably. <laughs> Lost the die roll. Against an opponent named Flying Whales. Well, that's terrifying. Let's see, this hand has half of our combo. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. It has Chalice, but no way to really accelerate into it. I'm going to go ahead and keep this conversely because we can ditch a forest. And we have a fast life from the loam hand. Let's hope it's a deck that uh, life from the loam can get a little grind on. Ooh, planes. I like it. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't like Vile because that means we're kind of on... Ooh, that's a great draw. I was going to say, we're kind of on a time limit on how long we have to be able to combo off. Right, let's go ahead and discard Wasteland. Unfortunately, they're also going to be a Wasteland deck. But hey, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Life in the Loam. Target both these. We'll have one floating and we'll use that to Living Wish. Yep. And I think we just want to go ahead and answer this. Mm. Do we want to answer the vial? I'm feeling like yes. All right, let's go ahead and grab Rex Sage. Life in the Loam will eventually get us into our whole combo, and I don't believe the opponent has many ways main board to answer it. Provoker's going to name Mox Diamond, almost certainly, which is fine. Cuts us off to a mana, but that's not too bad. Yeah, that's fine. We will absolutely mill with life. Let's see what we mill. <laughs> Last zone, huh? Last zone, huh? Let's go ahead and play out our green source. Cast life in the loam with our three targets. Next turn, we're going to go ahead and reclamation stage. There's no reason to do it this turn. We have time. Good thing we kept the green source in hand. If we hadn't kept the green source in hand, we would have been in a little bit of a rough position. Talia? Talia. Not sure to ya, Talia. No blocks. Ooh, a port. Uh, we'll just take a draw here. <laughs> Give the life in the loam. Nice. Alright, so... I think we're just playing Blossom here. Ticking it up and then blowing it. Seems like the plan. Sounds good. We'll take a little more damage, but I think that's fine. Unfortunately, our opponent has now survived to the point of the game where they can have um, Flicker Wisp. Ooh, did not take up the vial to three, though, so they don't have Flicker Wisp. Double port, nice. Let's 
All right, so end step here, we're gonna go ahead and add a counter to this. And then during our upkeep, if they try to port something, we're gonna blow blast them. All right, let's see what we got. Opponent does have a violin too. Who knows what tricks they could have? Right, let's see if the opponent goes for port here. See no reason why they wouldn't. Yeah, we'll just blow it, opponent. That's fine. You have a Thalia. <laughs> Ooh, another Evoker. Very nice, opponent. I think since, let's see, we're down to six. I think we just take a draw step here. Chalice isn't going to do it. Let's see. Spin stage. All right, I can have a blocker in two turns. Let's see how this works out. Shocking how uh, powerful that actually was. All right, I'm going to tap down the spin stage, which there's no reason not to, so that makes sense. Mistress Factory. Well, that's bad for us. Oh, never mind. We're just dead. All right. So we're against death and taxes. Let's see here. Spyglass is a consideration. Chalice tends to be very bad against them. So we're gonna go ahead and sideboard those out. Crocus isn't great. I'm probably bringing it in. Same with the Reclamation Sage. Azusa and Romanap. I'm probably gonna leave Social Spyglass in the board though. I don't wanna overboard on answers to Chalice. Or to, to vial the other one, the other artifact that you play on turn one. And I think the rest of the deck is fine. Death and taxes. Haven't seen that one in a minute. Red and six gang ban definitely freed up the space for that deck to exist again, didn't it? Mono one drop dot deck. Sweet. We would love to be on the play. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. All right, well, we got that engine started. We're going to crop to rotation away this. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Opponent's about to see a very spicy deck. <laughs> so we're going to know all our secrets, unfortunately, but we won't have access to life in the loam anymore. All right, opponent, this is what we're playing with. This is still on the stack, which means that uh, they're still looking at our deck. 
They have exiled all of the life from the loam, so they're just noting, noting various card choices. Of note, I don't think they saw Chalice game one, so they won't know Chalice is normally in our deck. Doesn't really impact this match, but, you know. So for the record, oh no. Oh no, I, was gonna, I said we were going to make a 2020 next turn. I lied. I lied. I was about to say we were going to make a 2020, but that's about to. Well, that means they have a Swords to Plowshares, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. All right, let's, let's try it. We're, we're just going to hope they don't have Swords to Plowshares. Which, based on how they've played this, I believe they do. But um, I don't think our proposition, our uh, position gets much better from this current spot. So here's our twenty twenty. They're probably gonna swords it. Yep. Go to forty, and let's start drawing to Karn. Or it's looking pretty bad, and we don't have any lands in play, opponent. <laughs> All right, so forest, living wish, yes, go grab another dark depths, pass the turn to our opponent. All right, cool. So we're gonna try and do it again. <laughs> Eh, wasteland. It's gonna definitely make it much harder. Yep. This cannot name a land. Yep. That's fine. Uh, these obviously opponent wishes were reversed. We do our own wasteland. Down. All right, let's go ahead and take their answer to our 2020 off the board. And pass the turn. So if we crop rotate this into dark depths, we can be a turn faster. No, is that true? No. Because I was thinking we could play Thespian Stage, we stopped to play two lands, yeah. But you've got a lot of beat down to do. See what we draw. All right, well, this kind of forces me to act, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go grab another wasteland, and we're gonna run back the uh, wasteland their landline. Wood Foothills was a very decent draw there. All right, let's see if they have third wasteland. We're hoping that they don't in their deck with no deck no deck manipulation. Take two. That's fine. All right, two more turns. Mox Diamond is currently turned off. Yep. All right, opponent, what's this? Ugh. Ugh. Don't, lo don't love that. Do not love that. Do love that. Do do absolutely love that though. 
So we can make a 2020 this turn. That, that was what we consider in the business to be an excellent draw. That's fine. All right, during their end step, we're gonna go ahead and make a 2020. Please don't have additional swords to plowshares, opponent. Please do not have, no, you're a monster. Oh God, no. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. All right, double, double swords. <laughs> All right, all right. Opponent's just gonna keep removing our 2020s and I'm just gonna keep trying to put them in play. That is the game we are playing. That is the game of magic that we are playing. <laughs> we are at 51 life, but the opponent can very easily beat through 51 life. We now need to find dark depths pretty much in the next draw step or two. Let's see how many we're through currently. One, two, only two. That's not terrible. Jit? Eh, jit Jit's not great. Well, I mean, Jit's great. <laughs> but uh, Jit's not great for us. <laughs> All right, crop rotation. Unfortunately, this doesn't get us really anything that matters anymore, I think. Let's go ahead and cast this, but I'm pretty sure uh, all of our best targets are gone. Yep. Bajuka Bog. Which actually means we should have got this and then played it tapped and not played Thespian Stage. Because that means uh, crop rotation doesn't do it next turn when it would have. When it would have. Oh well. Yep. Pumping the dude up to an 8 8. We need it this turn. But that doesn't matter. They, they, they know what we have in hand. Draw it right now. Well, all right, maximum punished. I sequenced incorrectly and could have played slightly better to my outs and didn't. We still have a chance. If our opponent lets us go to draw step, they're going to try and tap a land. We're going to float a green in response. Float a black. Crop rotation away our bajuka bog. I heard that we haven't done this enough yet. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? All right, that card is a blank, but that is fine. Here's our 2020. See if the opponent just has like a council's judgment for it. Oh my God, they have a council's judgment for it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna vote for Mox Diamond because I hate it. Yes, I realize that both will be exiled. But see, we're dead in two swings, and there's nothing that we can do about it. Well played, Death and Taxes opponent. Well played. Well, let's see if we can run it back for that last match. See if we can get that 3-2 and win our monies. Win our monies back. Lost the die roll. See, what does our hand do? I like it. It's scryings on one. 
for Thespian stage and combos on three. Ooh, against Astrolabe. So looks like it might be Jeskai. Uh, if it is Jeskai, then that's ooh, ooh, hello. All right, uh, let's start with the Mox Diamond. See where this goes. Disco Ducks, Dark Depths, Mox Diamond. Uh, Disco Dark Depths. Ancient Tomb. Let's go ahead and cast Life in the Loam. Try and pick these back up. If that doesn't resolve, we're just going to Sylvan Scrying. If it does resolve, we're just going to Sylvan Scrying. So, you know, it's magic. Our hand was kind of powerful this hand turn. Drawing the additional Mox Diamond is very, very, very nice. All right, I found it. All right, I found it. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right, well, that resolved, so they probably also have Days. You also have Days opponent. Aha, you're going to force that one. That's fine. We're just going to turn over a few things with this Life Melome, then cast it a few times. What'd you pitch to that day? A brainstorm. That's great. Life in the loam. Ah, milled over Karn. That's not exactly ideal. Alright, let's go ahead and pick back up Ancient Tomb. And pass it a turn. Go ahead. Second brainstorm. Powerful card. Powerful card. Backbone of Legacy, some would say. Especially when uh, it's a perfect brainstorm like that. Be shocked if the opponent cannot answer our first one now. Our first 2020. Imagine they have swords to plowshares. Fast Mentor is also one of the easiest ways for them to be able to beat us. Double Wasteland. That is not so good. Not so good indeed. All right, so we can play a Windswept Heath and fetch. Go get a Forest, and then Life from the Loan back three lands. And pass turn. We can melt off a counter at the expense of two life, and that just does not seem worth it. Nurse, it's fine. We're not drawing extra cards. We're a little nervous of the fact that that can find them swords to plowshares if they do not have it already, though. What have you, opponent? Astrolabe. That's fine. <coughs> All right. All right, so I'm gonna play an Astrolabe, trigger both these again. These Wastelands looking pretty bad against this particular opponent. I believe the opponent has three duels main deck. Which means technically we can Wasteland all of them. All right, uh, I believe that we are dead next turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and concede before the opponent sees too much more of our deck. Um. Sometimes they sideboard in Baneslayer Angel, but I doubt that they're bringing that in against what they probably feel is a land stack. Um, let's see, is there any we want specifically for Mentor? I think I want this Azusa. And really, I feel that's pretty much it. We kind of just have to play our cards. It's a little unfortunate and surprising that the opponent uh, forced the Sylvan Scrying, but you know, I, it was the last piece of our combo. Maybe we should have led on Sylvan Scrying? Hmm. Let me know if you're when you're watching this on YouTube in the future, if you think that we should have gone with Sylvan Scrying first and followed up with Life in the Well. Hmm. Hmm. My apologies, it is a little bit late here. Just approaching midnight, just past midnight, 12.30. <laughs> All 
All right, opponent on Jeskai Mentor. See what you can do. We're, I believe, uh, even though we only saw blue and white, uh, that I'm correct in saying Jeskai Mentor. It could just be blue white Mentor. I don't think that really changes what we do. We leave in Chalices because it's just insane against their deck, though. So let's see if we can get lucky and get an early Chalice hand. Mm. <laughs> there. That would just be ideal. Chalice into turn two Karn. Turn three Combo. That'd be great. Curve like that. How could, how how do you ever lose? How can you ever lose if you can just turn one chalice into turn two card? So Karn's one of those threats that uh, helps diversify against miracles because now they have to be able to answer a creature, a land, and a planeswalker. <laughs> a little bit harder for the control deck, but uh, of course, the more recent adaptation of the Tundra deck being Jeskai Mentor can just kill you, as you saw in that last game. Spells upon spells upon spells. Yes, let's go first. Chalice? Huh. Huh. Hmm. The opponent almost certainly has Surgical. I think I keep this. So I'm going to keep this, Pitch Dark Depths, play Thespian Stage, cast Sylvan Scrying, go get Ancient Tomb. And then I'm going to try and cast a turn to Karn, I think. And after that gets countered, we're going to try and Life and Loam into a 2020. Alright, so Mox Diamond opponent, is that okay? Cool. Sylvan Scrying. Gucci. Is this fine? <laughs> Who called surgical extraction? I have some bad news for you, opponent. We have a card in hand. So if you don't have a surgical extract, or sorry, a force of will in hand, or a spell pierce, or a daze, or... Well, that's pretty much it, luckily. Uh, this Karn Great Crate is coming down. Also, you'll only find that there's three Dark Depths in our deck. You'll find four Living Wish still. So they removed three of our seven copies of Dark Depths from our deck. Can we resolve our Sylvan Scrying now, opponent? Sweet. Unfortunately, if they have Force of Will, they're now saving it for uh, Karn. But that's fine. That's fine. Nothing we can really do about that. Unfortunately, this opponent correctly targeted Dark Depths, whereas, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think the cost is higher if we wait than if we do. If we just get it counted here, then we get it counted here. But if we wait, I don't feel that this becomes any good. Um if we wait a turn or two. So hopefully this makes it down. Does not look like it's making it down. Hopefully this is just a brainstorm hoping to hit force, not just a spell pierce. I'm kind of getting what I hope for. I'm hoping they don't hit the force if I'm if you're taking requests, opponent. Are you taking requests? Huh? Ah, no fun. <sighs> All right. Well, we are drawing to more Karns. Karns, Living Wishes, we've, we've got tons of live draws in our deck. Karn or Living Wish? Chalice of the Void. Chalice of the Void. All right. I'm down. Chalice on one opponent? Are you a fan? All right. Go ahead and fetch here. 
cast life in the long and get our fetch line back. It's a little painful, but uh, I think hitting our land drops is going to be one of the better ways that we can uh, be ready to go when we do eventually hit Karn or uh, Living Wish. Unfortunately, this is going to be a turn three mentor after surgically extracting and force of rolling us. And it's going to break my heart. Don't do it, opponent. Please. All I want to do is swing at you one time with the 2020. Okay, that's not going to happen. Oh, okay, it might happen. Lit or all I want to do is put a Karn on the battlefield. Look, I don't even care. I don't even care if you answer it afterwards. Cancel judgment it, whatever. Just let me put a Karn on the battlefield right now. Karn. Can't mess with that nonsense. Forced. Unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fetch this set. Life in the long target that. And pass turn. Unfortunately, likely dying to this mentor. However, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go Karn plus Ensnaring Bridge if we draw it, which might be our way to win this. They are now the Monarch. That's scary. Uh, neither one of those things help us. Elvish Spear. I mean, this is a terrible, terrible blocker. Go. And while it may be a terrible, terrible blocker, it is still a blocker. I am certain they have any spell here. Oh my god, they don't have any spell. Not I think they have any spell again. <laughs> I mean, snap block. Not hard. Deal. What do you got, opponent? If they attack with both, we can also... Yeah, I was going to say... The attack with both, we can also just... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this block. Uh, we could also just let them damage us and swing back and steal the monarchy. Good draw? Hmm. Okay, I accept. So we're going to go ahead and fetch this just right now. Ah, Chalice is on one. So it's, it's, not, an, it's not a real magic card until the opponent answers his chalice for us. Opponent, be a friend. Answer a chalice for us, please. Yep. All right, fetching the thin in response to their draw. I like the cut of your jib, opponent. Good draw. Good draw. No, not like this. Not like this. <coughs> We're trying, chat. We're trying so hard, Lux Sacks. We're trying so hard. The good news is uh, we can now resolve in Staring Bridge through Spell Pierce. Karn. No. Remember, these don't get Dark Depths. All the Dark Depths in our main deck are right there. So we're just passing the turn here. I don't see how the... Does the opponent think that their Chalice means they can't cast their spells? Nope. Uh, opponent's just going to cast probably five spells this turn and kill us. So, to be able to go, all right, well, I don't have to go to zero cards in hand. But I do want, I'm going to go ahead and crop rotation away this forest. I know it gets countered, but I just want to get rid of a card in my hand. Karn, please, please, Karn, please. Ah. Uh. Uh, wait, that's that's actually not a bad draw. Here's why. Ready? Everyone, pay, watch this. Bada boom, bada bing. 
All right, everyone. Uh, unfortunately, our deck kind of petered out there in the end, but it was good for a 2-3 finish this go. Uh, Alex here with Luxat Games. Thank you so much for tuning in. Reminding you to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you like seeing content like this and want to catch more from this channel. Alex here with Luxat Games. Reminding you to have an awesome night.